fresh when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other way Good morning besties, today is August 25th and right now it's like 7.48. Normally I wake up at 7.45, but my grandma woke me up a little bit earlier today. I'm literally stuck in bed right now because I have this, that one big ass blind is just open and it's letting all this sun in my room. So it's like I can't even go back to sleep. I'm gonna be recording my favorite videos to record. My first day of college, a freshman at college. My first class is at 9.30, so I kind of have a while to um, get dressed. A little more than an hour. Um, I only stay 15 minutes away from the school, so. so I really don't have to leave until like 9 o'clock to be there by 9.15. And then I have 15 minutes to find my classes and stuff like that. So I'm literally stuck in bed right now. I don't feel like getting up and getting dressed. Like, I have no energy or nothing, but... um. If my voice sounds a little raspy, it's my allergies, y'all. Because in Dallas, it was literally just humid, like, every freaking day. And it was, like, 100 degrees. And now it's raining and, like, 80-something degrees. So, it messed with my allergies for a couple days. But, I mean, I'm feeling better. The only thing is I have a little cough. But other than that, I feel fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and get up, brush my teeth. And I'm going to try to stop washing my face because... I have pimples up here, and it was a point in, in my life where I didn't have to wash my face at all, and my skin was, like, really clear and glowy. So, I'm going to try and get back to that, because at this point, nothing is helping these pimples. You probably can't even see them, like, a little bit right here. They're all right here, though, but nothing is helping them, like, at all. I don't know if it's my menstrual period that's doing this or what. And nothing is, like, helping my pimples so i'm not gonna wash my face anymore and see how that goes but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get up because it's already about to be eight o'clock i've been sitting here procrastinating literally doing nothing when i could be getting dressed so what's up been a minute since we kicked it you've been caught up with the bitches i don't get it you're a star love you shouldn't have to deal with that And I feel the distance. I look around and pierce and surround me. These niggas tripping. I like when money makes a difference, but don't make you different. Okay, y'all. So I'm done brushing my teeth and all of that. Um, before I start actually getting dressed, I'm probably gonna go boiling some water so I can make me some tea before I leave. Um, I was just thinking, like, if I'm not gonna wash my face, how am I gonna get this eye crust off of me? Like, I don't really have any more since I started like playing with it, but. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Then yesterday, I was waxing myself, as y'all can see, in my armpits. And I don't think my lip liked that very much. And it started bleeding, but not this whole thing was bleeding. It's like a little tiny-ass doll was bleeding. So I don't know why this big-ass shit is on my lip, but we're going to cover that up for sure. My uncle always makes breakfast for me because when I used to go to um, high school, he would always wake up and make me breakfast, like, every morning, every morning. And since... um. He started this new job and he leaves at like six in the morning five in the morning and i don't get up until 7 45 i never really get to see him in the morning so he always makes me breakfast before he leaves i have the best uncle in the world like i love him he's my favorite uncle i don't know if that was rude but he knows he's my favorite so Put 
this all the way up there knowing I'm so damn short. Okay, now we can get dressed. Um, it's only 8.10, so I have about 50 minutes to get dressed. So it's kind of enough time, but then I want to um, cut me some fruit to take to school and make me some breakfast. So now I feel like I have to rush. Don't ask me why I keep my hair stuff in here. Honestly, my brother gave me this and I was like, hey, I can use this for my hair stuff. Is that my lovely mother? Yes. You got my papers? Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Is your wake already? We're in a good mood this morning. Good. Glad to hear that. Gracias. You're up early. Uh -oh, I always wake up at 7.45. That is early. Yeah, because we have to leave at 9. I won't have to wake up this early when I get my hair done, trust me. At 9? Yeah. You have to be at 9.30? Okay. So... We're back at this stage. Now, I told y'all, I told y'all, I did not want to put any heat on my hair. Like, I was really trying to avoid it. And you know what? I was going to go, like, never putting heat on my hair. You know, I was going to go damn near the whole rest of the year. And, you know, maybe, maybe have a little, um, you know, just give myself a little waiver for, like, December, you know, like, towards the end of the year when it starts getting cold and shit. But, um... And I didn't like straighten it, straighten it. As y'all can see, like it's real puffy. It's real wavy at the top. Like I didn't straighten it, straighten it. And let me tell y'all what I've been going through because like, look how curly that is. Like that was weird. I had booked me a hair appointment before school even started. Like I was like, yeah, like I'm going to book me a hair appointment so I can go to school with my hair done braids of course just so i don't have to wake up so early and you know like have to play with my hair and stuff so i booked me a hair appointment for when i think i want to say it was the 21st yes it was the 21st i booked me a hair appointment and it was at three so i was like okay at two i need to go and get me my hair so it can be braided so i'm at the beauty supply shop and the girl that was going to do my hair she said she wasn't going to be able to do it because her mom planned her birthday trip. So I was like, you know, that's out of her control. That's fine. That's understandable. So I was like, okay. And she was like, that she can do it Monday. I was like, okay, you know, I start, I don't start school on Monday, so I'm good. So I was like, you know, it still works out. And she cancels on me again and says she's not going to be able to do it until next Saturday. And I was like, hell no, like, we can't do that. And mind y'all. Before she canceled on me, my nail tech canceled on me at 2 in the morning and my appointment was at 6 in the morning the same day. So I was frustrated. I was like, oh my God, like, why is everybody canceling on me? So by that point, I was fed up. I was like, whatever. So I texted the girl that usually braids my hair. And that was probably a sign for me not to cheat on her. But So I texted her. She was like, she can put me in the 24th. And I was like, you know what, that's cool. Whatever. And then she ended up canceling on me because she had to do some tests after school. So I was like, you know what, school come first, that's fine. So she's going to come today after school and braid my hair. But long story short, this was my last resort because my hair was blown out ever since the 21st because people kept rescheduling and canceling on me. It's hot. People kept rescheduling and canceling on me, so I was like, might as well just, you know, keep my hair um, blown out because, you know, I'm going to get my hair done eventually, so I did not want to go to school with my hair blown out. Like, that was just a no-go, and y'all can probably understand why. So, yep, that's why we're here today with my hair straight and probably getting damaged after I already got a trim, and I'm doing it to myself, but it's fine. I'm literally going to wash my hair as soon as I get out of school which is at like 150 and she's not coming till 4 30 so that's more than enough time to you know get my hair back right and healthy i'm trying to do like a swoop look i feel like this is a big enough swoop i don't know i'm not really gonna do my hair but 
let me get this swoop down and then I'll come back and talk to y'all. Okay, so this is a swoop. It's not as, like, it's not really good, but I mean, it's something. And I'm just going in with this wax stick just so I can lay it down with this hot comb. Yeah, she's hot. So I'm going to try and get as best as I can. I'm not the one that straightens my hair. My best friend, Josebia, always straightens my hair, but... She's not here today, so I can't even count on her right now. <clears throat> so I'm going to try as best as I can to get this swoop because right now she is frizzy and I don't know why. I'm going to think about it. That's as best as I'm going to get, honestly. The key here is to not burn myself and get me riled up at 8 in the morning. Okay, I feel like this is as straight as it's gonna get, and I'm not trying to keep going over my hair with this heat, so. Why do I keep turning it off? I think, I mean, this side is, mm, mm. it's as best as it's gonna get. Oh, well. No, this side is really, really bad, because this is the side I started giving up on last night, so. This had to get a bit. Yes, it did. Okay, good. So I'm just going to do like some over here to see what it looks like. This is probably going to be a bad hair day, but at this point, I don't care. Like, I don't know. Hey, y'all. So this is as best as it's going to get. I still have like some wrinkles, but time for the mascara because it's already 8.30 and I wanted to be done getting dressed by 8.30 so I have 30 minutes to eat and stuff, but... That obviously didn't happen, so I'm going to tell y'all where I've been at just so we can have something to talk about. I told y'all about my hair situation that really sucked, but I am moving on my birthday, September 5th. Um, I don't know if we're going to be packing that day because my, birth my birthday is on Labor Day, so we don't have school, and that's Monday. My birthday falls on Monday this year, so I don't know if we're going to celebrate saturday sunday the day of like i really don't know to be honest because my boyfriend goes back to utah tomorrow on friday so he's gonna have to fly back out here and you know he has school and he's a basketball player also so he has to be down there and on the same day i go back to school basically so um, he's gonna have to leave on my birthday, which sucks. So we're honestly just trying to figure that whole thing out. I don't know why I put my robe back on. It's freaking hot. I don't know why I did that to myself. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog on my birthdays this year just cause, you know, I don't know if it's gonna go good at all, y'all. Like, I have no plans, honestly. Like, I'm really falling short on my birthday this year, but oh well, it is what it is. But, um... Yeah, that's how my life is going right now. I'm really excited to move, but then I'm not. I feel like my family needs a house. Like, we have such a big family. Everybody's always over here, you know. And we stay in a two-bedroom apartment, so we're always so cramped up. Like, we need a new, bigger house. Like, we need a big house. That's just the bottom line. But, yeah, that's my moving situation. Um, I am going to a school in Dallas for two years to do my prereqs. And then I'm going to have to go to a university for another four years to finish my major and get my degree and stuff that I need to be a pharmacist. So that's what I'm doing in college. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good about everything right now. Um, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and use my lashes. My lashes are so freaking long. I'm probably going to put on some lashes. I don't know. Should I? I feel like I kind of look good like this. Let me put on some lipsticks. My lips are dry as fuck right now. And then I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Okay, y'all. So I just put on some lashes. But we have to work. It's already 840. And I have to leave here in like 20 minutes. And I haven't even made my food yet. So. Um, this is going to be the fit. So this is a tote bag. I don't have a backpack right now. So this is what we're working with. And I mean, I prefer tote bags like over purses and all that anyway. So I look white as shit. Sorry. This is what I'm using to take notes. Like literally, I have three classes right now. I'm not about to buy three different freaking journals. I don't even use them all or the whole pages half the time. So I'm not going to do that. Um, 
I have index cards just because if I want to be extra. Um, I really can't use my index cards right now because I ordered a punch hole, a hole puncher off Amazon. It's not even here yet. This is my pencil bag. I'm getting a new pencil bag too. I also ordered that on Amazon. And then, of course, my planner, just in case we have some important due dates, I need to jot down. And then just a mask and some gum. That's all that's going in my tote bag. Um, let's get into the outfit real fast. So this is these are the tops okay now am i going to be confident enough to wear this i don't know i don't know to be honest like i don't know it's still going to be a white crop top but i don't know if i'm gonna be confident enough but then i'm gonna do with these jeans and my bubble slides so we're gonna try it on i'm gonna see if i like it if it's giving or not but we're in a rush now so y'all about to see me rush so let me put on this outfit and i'm gonna see what it's giving and if i like it okay y'all this is the fit I mean, I like it. I mean, why not? My hair is really killing me because all these fuzzies, but I don't care. We're running late. And I literally have 10 minutes to do everything. So we have to rush now. So I'm just going to put on my deodorant and some perfume. That's really all I have left to do. I'm going to see if my grandma has some hairspray because this is not doing it for me. I'm going with this bombshell from Victoria's Secret. Right now, this is like my favorite perfume. If it would spray. <coughs> oh, shit. But, um, yeah. This is the outfit. Let me lay this down. And I'm going to come back and make my tea and my breakfast and really. Pot is really hard. I know this thing's been ready. I'm not even going to pour a lot because I probably won't even drink it all. But I like a lot of honey in mine. I know a lot of people say honey makes it taste nasty, but I like it, so. Get some lemon. I'm just going to grab the biggest piece. Boop. And now for the actual tea packet. This is a tea I like, especially when I'm, like, feeling a little sick or whatever. I just love this tea. And it's a herbal tea. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I like herbal tea. And those are like really good for you and really beneficial. So it's a win-win. It makes me feel good and it's has good benefits. So this says settling is not an option. And that's just on period. But yeah, I'm probably gonna make my breakfast. I'm going so slow like I'm not in a rush. Um, I seen these at Walmart yesterday when me and my mom went, and I want to try them, so hopefully they're good because I'm starving, y'all. This is what I get from McDonald's anyway, so. This shit is really freaking big, though. I probably should have let it across. Oh, well. That could be a fantasy. I could tell you got big, big energy. It ain't too many of them that can handle me. But I might let you try it out the Hennessy. Okay, y'all. I have like 30 minutes to get to class. My class starts at 9 30. It's like 9 27. So I'm literally damn near chopping to class right now. So small government. All of these concepts means you want more freedom. And that is why they don't like taxes because then if Joe Biden says so many Americans are sick, they don't have money and to get health insurance, you need to have a job that provides it. <coughs> and because so many people are going to die, you should do collective contribution and take care of everybody. Republican or Hey guys, so I came to close this video out and I just wanted to let y'all know my first day went really, really well. I like all my classes pretty much. My second period class is just really boring. It's really quiet and it just goes so slow. But I mean, overall, my first two classes are really lit. Like, I mean, I like them. I feel like the only thing I'm really going to struggle with is taking notes because college notes and high school notes are way different like the teachers don't put up notes on the slide they literally talk to you and you write what they're saying so if you have any tips for that please drop them down below i really really need some tips on taking notes in college but i hope y'all enjoyed this video and stay tuned for all the school content and my birthday's coming up so if i vlog that y'all also stay tuned push big yeah